In this video, I will show you how you can type on a PDF, or in other words, how to edit an existing PDF that maybe someone else has created, or maybe that you've created. So here we have a PDF that I downloaded from the NASA website. This is public information. I'd like to be able to click on this and maybe add some notes or add some color, maybe change the color of some of the text, or even what if I would like to change some of the words that are here? Maybe there's a typographical error or something else that I'd like to remove or add. PDFs can be a little bit hard to edit. What Adobe would like you to do is to go out and purchase Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat. Then you can make all of those changes. But let's explore some other ways that we might be able to edit a PDF. The first one I want to show is a website called PDF Candy. You'll find it at pdfcandy.com. And on this website, you'll find 47 different tools related to PDFs. Each one does something slightly different. So if I just click here to add a file, what it will do is it will take whatever the file is and it will convert that into a PDF. Well, that's not exactly what I want to do in this case. I would like to actually edit a PDF. So I click on that and this PDF Candy website changes to now the PDF editor. I'll click to add file and it's taken me to my downloads folder, but if that's not the right place, I could go somewhere else on my computer. But the idea is just find that PDF document that you would like to edit, click open, and it's being pulled up into pdfcandy.com. So now look at this. I can actually change the text in this NASA created PDF. I can delete some of the words, I can change some of the colors, and I would like to maybe add a little bit more information here, maybe something like that. Okay, now that I've edited this PDF, I can just go here to export file, and PDF Candy is going to let me now download this file in edited form, but saved again in PDF format. So here it is on my computer, now with blue and with one of the truest statements ever made here at the bottom of page one. So that seemed to work very well for me. Another way that you could try typing on a PDF would be to use a service that comes from Adobe. It's called Adobe Express. And as you can see here, I'm just using a free account not even the free trial. I'm not gonna sign up for the free trial. I just went to express.adobe.com, signed up for a free account. It is a limited account, but that's okay. But here, if you browse down partway down the page, you'll see this section called Try a Quick Action. And I'll click here on this arrow to see the other options that I have. And there's some really great options that you'll find here. But right above this list of quick actions, you'll notice that it says PDF. And one of the options here is to edit the text and images of a PDF. I'll click that and I'll browse my device. Here's the PDF document from NASA, the original that hasn't been edited yet. It's uploading into Adobe Express and it's now ready to be edited. Once again, I'll change the red to beautiful blue and I can change the text. I can delete. If I want to add text, I have to click up here to add text, and then type. Once I'm done, similar to PDF Candy, I just click here on download, and the updated PDF file is now on my computer. So the results are very similar. One difference though is that with Adobe Express, you're gonna to want to sign up for the free account in order to be able to do this. With PDF Candy, you don't really need to sign up, although you could. Let's look now at another possible option. I'm gonna to switch to Microsoft Word. If you have Microsoft Word on your computer, you can just go to File, Open. On a Windows computer, it'll look a little different, but you still click on File, choose Open, and then go to the PDF that you'd like to open, select it, and Microsoft Word is offering me the opportunity to have online file conversion open this file. So I'll say Allow, and it opens up my NASA PDF in Microsoft Word. So this would look a little different if you're using it on a Windows computer, but it's essentially the same. Again, I can change the colors if I'd like and make other changes. The last example I'd like to show is similar to the Microsoft Word method, but it's using Google Drive. So here in Google Drive, I'm gonna click New and I'll just click File Upload and I'm gonna upload that original NASA fact sheet it's uploading it into my account. It looks like it's done doing that. I can now click on it to open it up, but this is in a view only mode. But if I click open with Google Docs, it's gonna try converting that PDF into an editable Google Doc. 
Did it work? Let's try it out. I can change the text color, I can delete, and I can add to the PDF. When I'm done, I could just leave it in Google Docs format, or I could go to File and choose Download. I could download it as a Word document, or back into PDF document format. It's downloaded to my computer, and I can open it up, and there it is with my edits. So in this video, I've shown you several different methods that you can use and tools that you can use to type on PDF documents. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the Thanks button below the video, or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see more information about those options in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.